So over here, you can see that I got a Microsoft Word document. And now let us import that out in our in copy file. So to do that, I'm just going to file right here. And then I'm going to go to save as I'm going to browse and then save it out under my desktop. So I'm just going to save that out. So now I'm going to go to my InDesign uh, document right here, as you can see. So in order to import the Word document, you should go to File and then go to Place and then choose the Word document from the folder where you saved it. So I'm going to go to Desktop and here is where my document file is located. So I'm just going to select this and click on Open and once I do that, the file in, in this text document is already used by another application as it is mentioned right here. So I simply need to go there and then uh, close out Microsoft Word document. So let me just go around and go around to Microsoft Word document, close this around so that I can import it. So I can go over here, go on to place and then in my desktop, I'm going to choose this and press open. So now you can see that by default, all the text formattings are preserved so that we can start editing right over there. So uh, from the text formatting that you made in Word actually comes up over here. Not the layout in particular, but the formattings are all there. Let me show you another way to import Word document as well. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to file again and then I'm going to go to place and then I'm going to select the Word document and choose this tick mark box called show import options. Once I do that and press open, so you get another dialog box right here. So it has uh, like check boxes to include table of contents, footnotes, index text, or endnotes. So whatever you want, you can import that out over here. So by default, it has preserved the style and formattings from text and tables. What I can also do is remove the formatting. So it has unformatted tables, as you can see or you can choose one of the presets and you can save it as preset as well. So I'm gonna save this as a preset called no format, just like this. I'm just going to say no format and press okay and press okay again. And now you can see that the formatting has not been preserved. So similarly, all the texts are imported just like this. So if you were to go to file and place and then choose the Word document, so import option. Now you also have a preset called no format. Once you just select that, every, the default setting will be selected and you can press OK and no formattings will be imported. So depending on how you want to import it, there are different options for importing Word document formats in micro, um, um, in uh, Adobe in copy. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.